you get up to the window, you look at all the flies. Watching it draw on the list, it shows the this guy, he figured out enough science to do certain frequencies to control out of body experiences, but what's creepy is the shit to do. A Bigfoot caught plundering through camping gear, UFO sightings everywhere, and ghost orbs landing into people's hands. In today's video, we'll be reacting to some of the creepiest clips that will have you in disbelief. Let's get into it. The following footage is from a man named Billy. He was working on the Navajo reservation when he felt like something was watching him. And as he pans around and notices in the background, there is something huge, something massive that seems to be watching him work. And as he pans to it, you can't really tell what it is. So people are assuming and stating that maybe it's Bigfoot. Maybe it's a skinwalker. But we really have to question, especially in the area, as we know, tons of folklore comes out of the Navajo Reservation, from Skinwalkers to Bigfoot to the Thunderbird. So what is this? Is it a mythical being? Or maybe it is some sort of structure or pile of rocks? Take a look and tell me what you think. Honestly, that could be anything. I really have no clue what that could be. I don't see it moving, so I don't really think it's a person or anything living. It could be a rock formation. Okay, so the previous landlords moved out, and I came over here to just try and peep into the house, and I get to about right here. Mind you, I'm like, what, 20 feet away from the house, and it smells like fucking death. And even like diesel smell it. And then you get up to the window. Look at all the flies. I have watched enough crime documentaries to know that something is not right inside this house. Oh my god. I mean, it's one thing to mind your own business, but on certain situations like this, it might be best to call the police. There could be someone extremely injured in that house or worse. How do y'all think they built stuff like this right here on these secluded little bitty rocks? Well, one of the theories goes they use the airships. And see, all we've ever heard about the airships, oh, the Hindenburg, the Hindenburg. Even my artificial intelligence tries to tell me the airships built the pyramids. No, I'm not saying they did, fact checkers. Don't freak out. Then you got stuff like this right here, man. Table Rock in Oregon, dude. Now, what does that look like to y'all? Well, here's a hint right here. This is a little tree stump that was cut down. And look right there below me, man. Y'all really look at that and you tell me what you think. We'll cover the melted castles and all that next video. But like this right here, I think y'all are going to say it's an irrigation system or something like that. But man, come on, dude. Come on. It's pretty big. Uh, Come on. Yet another example of a big rock that looks just like a big piece of wood to me. See, the fact checkers got me on this video last time when I put this picture right here. This talks about resets, you know, and this is allegedly how the earth could have been and, you know, through the stages. I'm not saying it's a fact fact checker, so go ahead and fact check me on this one. You really can't deny some of those rock formations definitely look like trees that have been cut down. And as far as those steps that look like giant steps, I could believe that those were made for giants or by giants. But where do they lead and why is there no big structure for giants to stay in, you know, like big buildings? If they have the steps to walk on, why do they not have homes to stay in? And as far as airships being what helped build pyramids, I like that theory a lot, actually. It really is a cool theory. I don't know if it's necessarily true, but it doesn't sound too hard to believe if it was. Let me know what you guys think about that one. Sun lands on Earth. Okay, roll the footage. Y'all see what I'm seeing, huh? Y'all see how low that is? Come on now, America. I can't make this shit up. Y'all see it? Y'all see it? Can somebody please explain this? Come on now. We need answers, America. Can somebody please explain this? And look at the sun right here, how big it is. Ooh-wee. Y'all see that cross, that X, huh? 
Y'all know what that is. Come on now. Now, what is this, though? What is this, though, America? I mean, that could just be a reflection. I was wondering if maybe they would show the sun in the sky. This video is a little old. It's almost a month old at this point. I didn't know that they were going to show the sun in the sky. If they would have looked around and there was no sun in the sky and the sun was right there, I'd be like, okay, that does kind of look like the sun. But now it just looks like it's something reflecting the sun. I would like to say, if you haven't done so already, go ahead and like the video. And if you're new to the channel, subscribe. And for everyone that is subscribed and or watching, thank you for being subscribed and thank you for watching. In this video, a woman goes truck camping deep in the wilderness and has a terrifying encounter and captures something unknown on camera. I was sleeping dead asleep last night. All of a sudden, I heard something rummaging through my cab. I rolled over and peeked through the window, and I swear there was like this huge thing standing there going through my stuff. I'm out here in the middle of nowhere. There's no way it's a person. It dropped everything and scampered off into the woods behind me, like ran. It was on two legs. Determined to figure figure out what this thing was, she decides to stay and camp out again through the night. She sets up cameras to film the area around her truck and in the woods surrounding. For hours, she doesn't see anything. Until finally, in the complete dead of night, something is captured far in the distance. It's hard to see because it's far away, but looking closely, we can see a hairy, bipedal creature ripping through the woods. The creature is just as she described. It seems a little shorter than usual, but online viewers are still convinced she encountered a Bigfoot out there. She still doesn't know what to make of it and doesn't give any generalized statement on what she thinks it could be. Videos like this, I want to believe, but I really don't think that they are real. You would think that if this is kind of your thing, this is what you do as a, as a content creator, you would have your camera system set up everywhere already beforehand. You would have cameras pointed at your, your place of stay. You would have cameras pointing outside your place of stay. You would have audio equipment. Like, if this is not your first time doing these kind of trips, I just feel like people would be better prepared to catch these things. I'm not no Bigfoot hunter, I'm not someone that just goes around camping trying to find creepy things, but if I was, I would have a setup that would at least help capture everything around me looking at me and looking away from me. That's just my opinion. Especially if I was doing this as like a content career, you know? Let me know what you guys think of the video. Do you think that that was actually a Bigfoot running through the forest or do you think that this was just a hoax? Okay, this next video is rather disturbing. Watch it at your own risk. It shows these vehicles being abducted, taken away by alien spacecraft. And then at the end, it actually has a being communicating about the abductions pay attention watch it all the way to the end this is really disturbing i had no idea that this was going to be a fake video like that i don't watch these videos all the way through this is just a little taste of some of the videos that i kind of weed out during recording process because this was totally unexpected to me it's admitted NASA controls 99% of the alien it's in the world. It's not. I'm going to show you the astronauts faking being in space. If I show you them faking, oh, um, this is good. would that be enough? Yeah, yeah, yeah. do it. Let's go. Okay, um, let's do it. I'm Maybe. just saying that they're faking space and no one's ever been to space. What's going on here? Where did that guy come from? That was uh, two cuts of video together. It's so, uh, not. Watch, watch here. This was the live feed and he just came in like that. This was during a live feed. He just appeared. And this guy disappeared. Okay. okay. If, 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 during a, if during a live stream, when they're doing a live stream, and you see this happen, would that make you question whether you're seeing reality? If that's a live stream and I'm watching it on YouTube, yeah, I'd be like, oh, they messed up the video. I wouldn't they, think they about... They messed up the video. Is that what you would believe? Well, I don't believe you because you're showing this video that could be very well edited. Absolutely. And you don't but, believe, so so where, where believe gravity is real. This is all from NASA. This is from their live streams. And you can go verify this stuff yourself. The problem is people don't want to go verify anything. Here's from, um, this is from, I think this is the Chinese space station. Watch this cord. Where's it going? It's going. It has. It has a mass, and it's leaning towards the Earth. Yeah, but why is it going? What's the, what's this line that's going in? It's, there's a layer here. Look, watch. What's Gosh. going on there? Oh, so uh, there, um, there's, there, 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 this is manipulated. Okay, 
This is uh, this is this is it. This is fun one. This is. Uh, can, can I ask you a question, Dave? I, I, you're yeah. going to show us video after video after video that's going to have some kind of. I mean, this this is very much Alex Jones, Anderson Cooper's nose disappear type stuff. Really? What? Yeah, yeah. This is very much Alex Jones, Anderson Cooper's nose disappear kind of kind of stuff. What do you get out of this? What do you get out of the, doing this? That's a good question. I will uh, I will tell you why I do this at the end. We're almost done. Now, like he said, a lot of people do not fact check. They do not go to NASA to verify if those videos are real. I'm one of them. I'm just kind of taking it at face value and believing what this guy is saying, because at this point. It really doesn't surprise me if NASA has a bunch of these altered videos of people supposedly in space. I really want to believe in space. I really love the idea of outer space. I think it's an amazing concept. And I do truly deep down believe that there is space. But the videos and the, the things that we see that's being fed to us, I do not necessarily believe that. I think that it's much harder to operate with technology and space so what they have to show us is kind of hollywood style cinematics because yes there is people up in space but it's way too difficult to film that process so they give us actors and a fake setup and tell us it's real and have a whole bunch of errors happen in that process of recording because a lot of those videos definitely do not look right there's something wrong about them there's people clipping in and out there's things masking in and out of frame it just looks really fake but you would also think that if there's such a wealthy company that they would have an editing team that would make sure that there's no flaws in the editing so people don't question whether it's real or not. That's that's what makes it really confusing to me on that one. Let me know what you guys think. Do you think that space is real? Do you think that there's actually astronauts out in space? I do believe that space is real. I do believe that there is astronauts out in space. But I believe what they show us is not the truth. I don't think that those are actually the astronauts up in space. I do not believe that what they're showing us on these ships are real. And I know that sounds really crazy. Well, why wouldn't they just show us the real things? Because they can't. It's not as easy as they make it seem, you know? Okay, supposedly these bystanders in this small town in Alabama catch this thing going down the road. Check this out. What is that? Now, of course. Now, you have to... You have to say to yourself, okay, yes, yeah, sure. Okay, we've got a UFO. We want everybody to see it. So let's just drive down the road. So yeah, we're gonna we're gonna expose it and just show the world. Hey look guys, we found a UFO. Yeah, we're in Alabama, of all places. And look what we found. Roll tight. Look, 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 check this out, man. This is you know, I had to show the video. I mean, do you think it's real? Do you think they're just like, hey, no. Hey, let's just show everybody. Hey, it's a really cool looking object, whatever it is. I have a feeling it's some kind of prop for maybe a movie, or maybe it's some kind of ornament piece for a yard or some kind of event. I highly doubt that it's an actual alien spacecraft. It could be military as well, but it does definitely look futuristic. If any of you know what that was, let me know in the comments. Boeing's body count is catching up to the Clintons. Their latest victims, two astronauts stuck in space and definitely on a Boeing Starliner wasn't there just a movie about this astronauts Butch Wilmore and Sunni Williams arrived to the ISS on June 6 for what was supposed to be an eight-day visit but they're almost two months in at this point the delay happened because during their approach to the station five of the spacecraft's thrusters suddenly stopped working and it developed several helium leaks in the propulsion system Engineers from Boeing and NASA have been running tests to figure out what went wrong. And to make sure the spacecraft is safe to fly Wilmore and Williams home. NASA officials couldn't specify when the Starliner would be ready. Typical. Never a straight answer. They believe the spacecraft is probably still safe to fly the crew home. They'll be making a decision soon. Technically, the astronauts could use SpaceX's Dragon capsule as a backup to get back. So they aren't stranded. But space is faking anyways, so what's really going on? So moments like this make me feel bad for not believing that the astronauts and everything that we see are not truly the astronauts in space. Because if those people are really up in space, 
they're suffering, you know. I don't know if they still are at this time. I haven't done any research on this subject. This was happening during early August. But when I see things like this, I do feel a little bad for questioning whether or not it's real. Because there is people's lives on the line that are doing this job. For me to just question and disbelieve it, you know. That, that sounds rude. But then the other side of me, the deep portions, the dark places in my brain is like, well, Boeing and NASA, they're just money laundering companies that are just coming up with stories to explain to the people of the world why they're spending so much money that they're invested that the, the people's tax dollars are going towards you know that's where my mind goes is just like the companies are all getting together and they're like okay we're gonna say that there's a couple of astronauts in space that are stuck and we need to spend a bunch of money to get the astronauts back home. People won't complain about that as much for us to spend that kind of money to save lives instead of building rockets just to shoot in space for fun. That's kind of where I feel like companies are going with it. They're they're giving us a reason to say, oh, well, they need to spend that money to save people. But in reality, they're just washing dirty money and, and coming up with a story saying, yeah, we're, we're trying to save these astronauts. Sorry if I'm rambling. When it comes to this topic, I can go on forever. Do you ever hear that thing with Genghis Khan that he killed so many people that they can actually yeah, see yeah. that the carbon level on earth dropped drastically because there was not as many people breathing <laughs> that's made up that's what they say i've, I've heard that that's crazy that's how he killed a lot of people that's the craziest stat i've ever heard in my life yeah bill wow. gates is somewhere going tell me more <laughs> <Jeez>. <laughs> bill gates did say in one of his things that one of the main causes that we need to get rid of to save the earth from climate change is humans overpopulation yeah he always yeah. says we have to reduce the population to save the earth but we live here <laughs> this is our earth dude look at fertility rates right now they are like notably diving they're all intertwined in everything yeah I it's so I deep, it's, man. I don't think it's like one organization either. I think it's a bunch of bad dudes. I'm telling you, if you drink Arizona teas, you need to watch this. Because too many people are finding this goop in their Arizona tea cans. And nobody knows what this is. But check this video out. <coughs> this getting left right here. <laughs> what the fuck is that? Wait, let me see that shit. Wait. So, uh, yeah, it's a no for me. But y'all let me know what y'all think. Do y'all still want to take that risk? Or would you rather go and demand that they change their product? Or we could just all stop shopping with these companies. <laughs> That's the best option, y'all. We don't have to buy the poison. It's a choice. It really is. You can stop buying these things. And we will stop being poisoned. I don't know. I don't drink that stuff. But if I ever was to take a drink out of anything, especially a can you can't see inside of it, and I was to get a big old swallow, and then there's just a slimy, viscous clump of glob in my mouth, I'd never be able to drink out of a can ever again or anything that I couldn't see out of. That just would be disgusting. And I agree with this guy. People really need to stop consuming these types of products. I mean, I get that they taste good, but they're not good for you. Scientists have the this recording that is clearly a whale recording but doesn't belong to any known species of whale the whale they named 52 hertz because that's the frequency they were hearing these calls somewhere out there in the world is one of two things a known species of whale that's calling and making a sound that nobody's ever heard or recorded before or larger theory an unknown species called the loneliest whale meaning there's only one or two of them out there making this call trying to find another one it's just an interesting conspiracy whale theory i don't think it's at all beyond possible that there are some incredibly shy and elusive cetacean species out there that we don't know about have y'all come across this yet no because seriously we need to know what this is like we need to know what this is because this isn't the sun y'all this was in Chattanooga, Tennessee, in the Smoky Mountains yesterday. Let me show you what transpired of this. Like, it all started looking something like this. Do y'all see that? This ring of smoke, whatever it is, and then it goes to looking like this. Look at this, right? Could this be, like, creating a portal of some sort? Look at that. Look at that. This is on the Smoky Mountains. Look, what is that, y'all? Look. Like, y'all see that burning fire in the middle of it? But it looks like something is coming through the firmament. And y'all see that? Look at this. What is going on? This is literally like, like the Truman Show, y'all. 
it's like something is like cutting the glass or the ferment like come in or like literally a portal like a window you know what i'm saying a porthole and it's literally a hole but and then you see this fiery red thing over here kind of like jupiter right right what y'all think I believe the spiritual world is merging with this physical world, hence why all the material things, the physical things is breaking down. But could this also be the reason why it's been so bright outside? Have y'all noticed that? Hey, I'm not sure what that is, but it's really cool looking. Now, I do see some people saying in Tennessee, CERN is out in Tennessee, so it might have something to do with CERN. I have never seen anything like that, so if anyone knows what that phenomenon is, let me know because I would like to look those up and, and maybe get a better understanding what that is. I'm sure it's something natural. Okay, guys, this is the original footage that made David Eckhart famous for paranormal. This guy started noticing the bathroom. You'll see this entity come around the corner. This never gets old because I know this is real. I know that there's not a, sh not, not a shadow of a doubt. Look, see it move? It comes around the corner. David was sleeping when this happened. He had the camera set up. There was no way he didn't. He didn't plan this. There wasn't any kind of tricks. As you can see, the entity moving, coming around. We're going to kind of zoom in on this here in a minute, and I'm going to show you, see it a little better. But you can see it's watching. It kind of looks like a gray alien. You can see what's going on. The History Channel, they tried to debunk it. They couldn't debunk it. They, Yeah, this is the granddaddy of them all as far as these David Eckhart videos. This was the most phenomenal footage. It went big time viral all over the web. So this is just, it's really awesome. Watch it one more time. You can see this entity moving. It looks like a gray alien. That's what it looks like. Now, when we say gray alien, that doesn't mean that it's not an interdimensional being or a demonic entity because that's exactly what that could be. Uh, but there's no doubt in my mind, this is the one that got him out there. This is the one that got all the paranormal investigators in his house staying weeks at the time. So, yeah, you can laugh about it and say it's not real all you want. It is. I mean, overall, it's a really cool shot. I don't know if it's real or fake, to be honest. But if it really did cause that scene, then it's very questionable. To me, there's an awful camera shake. I don't know if someone's recording this video off of a, a, a monitor of some sort. Why was someone filming it off of a computer and where's the original footage to this? Because I've never seen this footage before and I cannot find the original footage to it. And I guess overall I'm curious as to why is the alien just keeping in? You know, if they're such an advanced creature, why are they just well, let me see if he's asleep real quick. You know, like, it, it just seems a little fake to me. Let me know what you guys think about David Ackhart's footage. Do you think it's real? Do you think it's a hoax? Let me know, because I kind of, I have a hard time telling on this one. This is the path that the ISS takes. I have no idea what forces could be at play to cause that sort of a spiraling orbit, unless the firmament is literally a giant kid spirograph set. You've never seen that pattern. Magnetic field lines, maybe? You ever heard of electrostatic levitation? Just by charging this PVC pipe with some wool, you can get enough electrostatic charge to cause a repulsive effect and cause things to levitate. Look at this. Now imagine instruments with some control. Isn't it funny that the electrostatic force seems to defy gravity, the bending and warping of space-time, it's the one thing that can counteract it. And depending on how things are charged, they can be repulsive or they can be attractive. Here's NASA in a zero-g plane doing tests with electrostatic orbital motion, causing two charged items to orbit. Now look at this. Charged bar causing this to do that. Now imagine a controlled environment where there are thrusters and things involved. Familiar, eh? And you know about the electricity in our atmosphere, that there's a hundred volts per meter of electrostatic potential that can be harnessed. It's no secret, and they use this electrostatic force in electric propulsion. NASA has an electrostatic levitation laboratory. So don't you think they've figured out this anti-gravity technology using the electrostatics in the atmosphere? Used to, flat earthers were like, oh, satellites don't exist, the ISS doesn't exist. But here's the thing, I believe it is up there because we can see it crossing the moon and the sun. But here's the deal. I don't believe it's 250 miles away and following the bending and warping of space-time, the curvature of space-time. 
No. I believe that the ISS has so many solar panels because it uses this solar propulsion, harnessing the electrostatics in the atmosphere and having orbital motion following these electromagnetic field lines. Those of you who waited till the end get something special. He's charging this rod with wool. I'm going to tell you something very interesting about wool. You know Deuteronomy 22.11 that says, You shall not wear fabric made of wool and linen blended together. They say it's pagan. Yeah, it's actually witchcraft. Because linen's frequency is 5,000. Wool is also at 5,000. But when you mix those two together, that cancels each other out to a frequency of zero. We're talking low energy low vibration frequency totally explains why a hundred percent wool t-shirts are a freaking hundred dollars so those bible verses that you thought were meaningless actually mean something so as this deception is going on they're also deceiving you in how important this field of energy is to our bodies you know, they try to hide the fact that grounding is good for us as they make these shoes with rubber soles. They try to hide the fact that certain diets raise our frequency, vibration, and our energy field. I believe this created realm that we live in has a lot more secrets to uncover than we think. You guys want to hear some weird stuff about frequencies? Yeah. Robert Monroe. This guy, he figured out the science to use certain frequencies to control out-of-body experiences. But what's creepy... He would speak to entities. Oh, no. That would teach him how to use frequencies. Yeah. Nikola Tesla also talked about like, out-of-body experiences and learning from entities. Albert Einstein, like all these brilliant people, talked about how they learned stuff while they slept. But what's creepy, the CIA bought his patent to start the Project Stargate, which is... Uh, people that do remote viewing he said you can travel across the universe into different dimensions you can do whatever you want but people always talk about there's always an entity that is showing them around and teaching them stuff he perceived these entities are versions of yourself from different timelines he's like when you die you have the option to go wherever you want this is what he's being taught by this entity and he's like you can be your own god and it's like heard that before red flag so it's like the same concept as taking dmt like i think you really are accessing spiritual world you know and they probably should not belong there. That's a really interesting concept that these big brained people basically had the abilities to control a frequency to help them have an outer body experience. And within this outer body experience, they were contacted by some kind of other entity, maybe another form of themselves from a different reality. That's actually a really cool theory. It's also kind of scary because what if that isn't you from another reality? What if that's a demon or some kind of malicious creature or some kind of entity that means harm in the long run, even though it seems innocent in the beginning? I have a feeling outer body experiences or astral projecting, things like that, is a really dangerous game to play. I don't think it's a wrong game to play personally but i do think that it can probably lead into danger if it is a real thing now me personally i've never astro projected not on purpose if i have it was a complete accident but if it ever happens i would not mind seeing where i go seeing what leads me where and, and being very cautious about everything we may have a mass ufo sighting situation developing so I'm going to share two videos. One I shared from a woman named Brittany. She captured what looked like a UFO landing on Waikiki Beach. Now this was captured on August 14th, 2024 in Hawaii. The next video that I'm going to share, this is the one that's causing all of the trending viral posts on social media right now. Multiple people, dozens of people between Palmdale, Kester, Southern California. This specific video was actually captured in Porter Ranch, California. Stated they saw these lights in the sky, different UFOs all over their night sky captured between August 15th and August 16th. Now, the reason why I'm putting them both together, because they look similar. The crafts look very similar. So did it start in Hawaii and end in California? Take a look at these videos and tell me what you think. Mm 
these videos are everywhere right now on TikTok. They really are very unique looking. It honestly kind of reminds me of a set of drones. I feel like that's what they are. They're just drones synchronized to work together. But overall, I really do not know what they are. They are very neat looking on how they move. A lot of people in the comments to these videos saying that it's Project Bluebeam, that more and more UFOs are showing, all a government psyop to make us believe in aliens for like a world war against the aliens. I don't know if I necessarily believe that, but it is crazy to see these objects flying around in the sky. I would love to see them in real life with my own eyes. This clearly, especially. Let me know in the comments, what do you think that these lights were? Do you think that they're actually alien spacecrafts, maybe governmental spacecrafts, or drones of some sort? Maybe it's just someone's playing around with people. Let me know what you guys think about it. Who can touch me? Who can fly in here and touch my hand? Who's out there? Fly in here and touch my hand. Who's out there? Fly in here and touch my hand. Come on. Oh my god, it happened. Dang, at first I thought it was just a speck of dust, but then it started moving around and everything, and it, it really did look sentient. Now that would be kind of cool. But I guess the next thing I would like to know is, can he actually see the orbs with his eyes, or can he only see it with his phone? Because if you could see those with your eyes, that's pretty crazy. Alright guys, I'm gonna go ahead and end this episode. As always, if you enjoyed any of these clips, links are in the description down below. And with that being said, have a good day.